Hello everyone, my name is Ripsy and today I'll show you guys how to create the Dodo Airlines Airport from Animal Crossing New Horizons in Minecraft, as you can see right here. So I created this uh, in a little bit of a self-made pond with a pier and also a seaplane on the side as well. But we're going to be focusing on solely the building, just the main building and I chose to do this so you guys can also just place it uh, on an actual airport. So if you want just a building you can do that, but at the end of the video I will show you guys how to create, well not how to create, but just kind of what I did to create the pier and the seaplane as well. But let me uh, show you guys how to create this building uh, right now. I know this looks a little bit weird, but let me walk you guys through it. So this is uh, the black and white is a 11 by 11 square with just a little bit of a diagonal over there. Then the uh, red and bluish blocks are the overhang, as you can see over here. So the black and white is kind of like the building itself. And then the red and blue is just the overhang I'm pointing at right now. And then these little yellow blocks are a small overhang from the top bit. So it's only at this side and this side. And then finally the warped and crimson boots are the door that is at this side. Let me show you guys right over here so let's recess in a little bit so i hope that is followable uh, let me just crack on with building it and show you guys how to create the whole building so here we go with the blocks to begin with we have a foundation layer of stone and stone bricks then the building itself is created out of yellow concrete and smooth sandstone and so i went with the smooth sandstone just to complement the plane on the other side because uh, this one has stairs and slabs but you can use uh, any of the yellow blocks or even the different colored blocks if you want to create it in a different color. So this is just a green terracotta, what is this? Oh, green terracotta, lime terracotta and green concrete. Maybe even blue concrete, blue concrete powder and blue wool. Or maybe even the red concrete, red terracotta or red concrete powder. You know, just any kind of colored blocks that work well together, you can just go with. Then we have these smooth quartz and smooth quartz slabs. Uh, white stained window panes and also the full block glass black ones for the top layer and the window panes for the windows at the bottom some black stone slabs for the ceiling and then just the detail blocks so some iron trap doors birch doors a couple of warp signs some sea lanterns a couple of chill bars or well <laughs> iron bars uh, one redstone torch and one oak pressure blade Let's start off on this left side right here with our stone foundation. So go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. From here, it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Leave these blocks for now. Then actually go from here, leave a 1, 2, 3 space gap. And then on the fourth one, we continue with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 blocks. And then from here to there, which is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 block, and then leave these for now. Well, actually, we'll get the smooth quartz over here and raise this up by 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then in the middle, get 1 and 2, so you can place your doors over there. On this side as well, just create a doorway like this. When you have this in place, get your colored blocks. So I'm going with these two right now, which are the yellow concrete and the yellow terracotta. But you can go with any one of the colors you want. For now, I'll just use the yellow concrete and on every stone block you place, go up by three. And for this part over here, just connect them up like that. For the windows, let's go from here. So this is on the, uh, well, the left side of the building kind of. And go one, two, three on the fourth one, delete those two blocks. From this side, go one, two, three, delete those blocks, one, two, delete those blocks, and those are all the windows. Get the white stained glass planes and place those in the gaps you've just created. Uh, this part for me is the part where I start mixing the blocks, so for the stones, just uh, get some of them out and place some stone bricks in the gaps. You could also go with some cobblestone, some cracked stone bricks, uh, whatever floats your boat really. And then for the yellow part, uh, well, my yellow part, but you can have any other block. Uh, just get the other block you can texture with and just kind of uh, randomly get some parts over here and give them a slightly different color. And I feel like this kind of thing helps a lot while detailing a, uh, well, just kind of a plain wall. So this whole wall would be flat without it. But when you look like this, uh, 
it, it just gives it a little bit more detail. After that, just go somewhere over here. Uh, this is a placeholder block and just get a line of one block so that's be above all of these. If you place those in, just uh, follow the whole line of the building, going with the diagonal as well. Just getting a one block overlay on the whole thing. Then get your blackstone slabs and create a ceiling like this, except for a 3x3 three three gap right over here. So that should look like this. Get your smooth quartz blocks and create kind of a circle like this and then place some slabs on top of that as well. Then with your slabs just continue like this and just pop that uh, square out by one on all of the sides. And it should look like that. I know this is quite hard to see but this is just like a two blocks to each side. Uh, it should look like this. Then from here, just continue to pop it out one more. So this is just a placeholder block for now. And kind of follow uh, an overlay of one again. So three over there, and one in the gap over here, and three over here again. And one in the gap, just like this. Should look like that. On top of that, place your glass blocks just too high all the way around. Once you have this, go to the inside and on the top layer of the glass, just place in your blackstone slabs. So the inside you could enter if you really want to, but it is mostly for aesthetics. Once you have this, get your iron trapdoors, which you could actually go with birch trapdoors or something like that as well. Maybe even the spruce would look kind of good and just go on top of the glass and follow it all the way around like this. Then get your smooth quartz slabs and place them against the trapdoors you just placed. On top of it, place two sea lanterns, one over there and one over there. Then with two iron bars on top of that and place one red sun torch on either one of them. I placed them out over here to kind of look like some antennas. And apart from the final details, we're actually done with the building. So first of all, it's a door right over here. And this can lead to maybe your airport. Over there, I have it lead up to the pier with the plane on the side. Then, of course, at the front door, I place two doors as well. And make sure they open like this, so you can just walk in easily. You could also go with iron doors over here. It looks pretty good as well, but I went for a perch, so you can just open them. But we'll place the pressure plate over here either way, because it kind of looks like the step apart in Animal Crossing. And over here, I place these signs. I could go with over here, like it's actually in Animal Crossing. But I figured this works a little bit better, because we are placing this in Minecraft. I just went with Dodo Airlines, like that. And that really concludes the whole building. So if you're here for the build itself, uh, this is actually the whole tutorial done. Make sure to leave a like and thank you for watching. But if you want to see the outside parts and also the interior, I'll show you guys that right now. So first of all, the pier. Uh, I just went with slab, double slab, double slab. Well, actually like slab, full block, two slabs, full blocks. And that's just the way up to the pier. Uh, so I went with a four wide uh, stair. And then actually on the fourth block, uh, that is where the building starts. So actually you have a three wide over here, uh, including this block. So it's kind of a two wide walkway over here and over here as well with the fences on the third one. Then I went with the fences over here as well. So what I did for the fences is I kind of spaced them out. So here's a four block gap, a three block gap and a four block gap again. I just placed some lanterns all over the regular fences to give some light in when it gets dark. On the underside of the pier, uh, actually you can see the interior over here, but you could just place all uh, trapdoors at the bottom side or actually just leave the bottom sides totally open. Uh, then I went with some pillars, you can see, so I spaced them all three blocks apart to the insides as well. And I just went with a small layer of stone bricks at the bottom sides, as you can see over here. I just kind of uh, decided on what Y level they should be, so some of them are actually covered with dirt, as would happen in the real world as well. Uh, so over here I just kind of went down again with the double slabs over here. Created a little bit of a bridge to the plane, 
And then the plane itself I saw on uh, Google Images. I just searched seaplane and I think it was like the third picture that popped up. But I uh, kind of make some small adjustments, especially to the backside over here to kind of resemble the Animal Crossing one. So again, I'm really not a vehicle builder, but I think it looks kind of all right for the purpose it serves. And that purpose is to be aesthetically pleasing. Just placed a couple of barrels in here for some extra storage if you actually wanted to do this. And then there's just a small bed over here and some grindstones to kind of look like the steering wheel and the motor inside of it. Uh, so let me just get some different angles. So if you want to build it, that is a furnace by the way. Uh, you can kind of see the shape of it and just kind of pause the video to see what you have to do. Uh, well, just go to the back as well. And then to the underside. These are identical to the one on the other side. But if you really want to do it, this is a six block slab. So you can kind of see how much you need. All right. So the inside, I kind of did my best to resemble the inside from Animal Crossing, but it didn't really turn out the way I really wanted to. So to start off over here, there's just a little bit of a camera right there. I think it's a camera in the game as well. A bit of a fencing area with uh, like the board saying stuff over there. And also a poster of the island. Well, in this case, just some mountains. Over here, I kind of went with the Toto Airlines design, but it really, this is actually the best I can do with the signs. So over here, the postal stuff, I think this one is actually quite nice. So I just went with an end rod, two uh, sandstone walls on top of it with some item frames surrounding it. And I just placed in some banners, kind of twisted them around to look like the letters and just a red carpet on top of it. This is some light blue concrete uh, with a little bit of a computer. This one is facing that way because otherwise the picture frame would be on this side and it looks kind of weird. Bit of a flower and a button and that's actually all there is to it. Uh, two stairs over here, just the warped ones to kind of look like the little chairs you have in the game. And I just placed some trapdoors next to the windows for some little bit of extra detail. So over here as well, two acacia fences with some birch trapdoors to the side to kind of just have the uh, port you can go through, the security border. Over here we have a big wheel for rescuing. A uh, little plant over here as well. And I thought I had some paintings over here, but they have seemed to disappear. A couple of sea lanterns in the top as well for some lighting. And as you can see over here, it just kind of walks down to the plane again. So that really concludes the whole video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to leave a like if you did. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys like to build this in your own world. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.